Hey friends, it's Mrs. Walker. For our lesson today, we're going to continue working with shapes. And our learning goal for today says, I can draw, identify, and analyze two-dimensional shapes with specific attributes. Well, remember that two-dimensional shapes are just shapes that are flat that we can draw on our paper. And attributes are just characteristics that describe a shape. Okay, so just keep those two things in mind as we move through our lesson. So the materials that you'll need for this lesson are your dry erase board or a piece of paper if you don't have a dry erase board. All right, so what is a polygon? I want you guys to pause the video and I want you to think about that for a minute. Okay, friends, let's think about it. So a polygon is a closed shape that is made up of three or more straight sides. So here's some examples of a polygon. So this shape has three sides, this shape has four sides, and this shape has six sides. Here's a five-sided shape, and then here is a six-sided shape. Now, if I put a marble in all of these, so let's pretend they had sides, right? They don't, but just pretend that they do. If I put a marble in all of these shapes and rolled around, it wouldn't come out because the shape is closed. There's no opening in any of these shapes. They are, they're closed all the way around. Now, check out this example right here. This shape is not a polygon because if we look right here, it's not closed. It has this opening right here. So if I were to kind of stick a marble in there and move it around, oh, it's going to fly right out of that open space. So a polygon has to be closed and can have no gaps or overlays or spaces in between them. Okay, so that's an important thing to remember as we go through this lesson. Okay, the next thing is I'm going to show you some lines that will represent the sides and angle you will draw the lines I share and add another line to close the shape, which will create two more corners or angles. So here, I have these two lines. Where could you draw another line that would close this shape? So I want you to pause the video. I want you to draw my two lines on your board, and then I want you to draw another line to close the shape. And then once you do that, click play, and we'll go over it together. All right, friends, pause if you need more time. All right, so here's my two lines. I'm going to draw one more just like this, and now I have a closed shape. And remember, a polygon is a closed shape with three or more angles. So a triangle, or I'm sorry, with three or more angles or sides. So a triangle is the smallest polygon because you can't have less than three sides to make it a closed shape. All right, friends, so what shape did you just make? Yeah, we made a triangle. So shapes can be described with more than one name. We can use the word polygon to describe a triangle. So how many sides meet this one? So if I have this side right here, how many sides of these may meet this one side? It's kind of a tricky question, right? Well, only one because this line right here meets it. Is this a polygon? No, it sure isn't, right? It only has one angle and it's not closed. So that can't be a polygon. How can we turn this into a polygon? Yeah, we can add another side, right? Just like we kind of did in the last one. So we can add another side right there. Now this is a polygon. How do we know? I want you to pause the video and I want you to think about how do you know that this is a polygon? So pause, think about it, and then click play when you're ready to go over it together. All right, friends, pause if you need more time. All right, so here's the, some of the things that I heard and then some things that I came up with too. So it's closed, right? There's no openings on our triangle. It has at least three angles. It has at least three sides, right? If it has three sides, it has three angles if it's closed. And it's a triangle, and that's a polygon. All right, so that's awesome. All right, so here's a triangle. Remember, a triangle is a three-sided polygon with three angles. That means it has three sides and three angles. 
tri means three. So a triangle with a shape, or is a shape with how many sides? Yeah, three sides. So here's some examples. This is probably the most common triangle that you're thinking of in your mind, but we can also have triangles that look like these. Do all of these triangles look the same? Nope, they sure don't. Not all triangles look the same. They're all triangles because they have three sides and three corners or angles. Draw a closed shape with four sides. Each side needs to be a different size. So now you're drawing any shape that you want that has four sides and it has to be different sizes on each side. So we're not drawing a square and we're not drawing a rectangle for this one. You're drawing something that looks different than that. Okay, so pause the video, draw a shape with four sides that the sides are different sizes and then click play when you're ready for the next step. All right, friends, pause if you need more time. Okay, so here's what I came up with. Can you name the shape you made, even if it looks different than mine? So mine is an example, right? It just has four sides. One, two, three, four. Now, can you guys name that? Um, I'm kind of thinking. I don't, um, I, I don't know about you guys. I, I'm, I can't think of the name for this shape. This looks kind of like a funny shape, but I do know that it has four sides and four angles. Do you agree, does your shape have four sides and four angles? Yeah, it sure should. If it has four sides, it's gonna have four sides along with four angles. You just drew another polygon called a quadrilateral. Quad means four, and lateral refers to the sides. So when we say quadrilateral, we're talking about a polygon with four sides. My mind is blown, especially with that quad and lateral. Like quad means four and lateral means sides. So four sides is a quadrilateral. That's crazy. Okay. Another thing that I like to think about with this one is, I don't know about you guys, but have you ever been on one of those, like, it's like a four wheeler, or like a monster truck, like how, like you see, sometimes people call those little ones that people drive around, they're called quads. And that's because they have four wheels. So a quadrilateral has four sides. So I kind of think about that in the back of my mind. That's just a little trick I have too. Okay. Let's look at another one. So here's some quadrilateral shapes. Now again, these look different, right? Okay. Do all of these quadrilaterals look the same? Nope, they sure don't. But the reason why these shapes are quadrilaterals is because of their shared attributes, not because of the way they look. So meaning those shared attributes are just the characteristics. They have four sides and four angles. That's what makes them a quadrilateral, not because all quadrilaterals look the same. It's those attributes of how many sides and how many angles, which is four for quadrilaterals. All right, so let's look at another one. I want you to draw a closed shape with five sides. Okay, so pause the video. I want you to draw any shape that's closed and has five sides, and then click play when you're ready for the next step. All right, friends, pause if you need more time. Okay, so here's the shape that I came up with. I'm sure many of you have seen this shape before, right? All right, can you name the shape that you made? Hmm, this might be another one where you're thinking, you know, I've seen that shape before, but I just, I don't know the name of it. But you know what, friends? We can describe it by its attributes because it has five sides and five angles. So you know what? It's a pentagon. Penta means five. So a pentagon has five sides. Oh, another mind-blowing fact right there, friends. Let's look at some examples. So all of these shapes have five sides. All right, let's look at another one. I want you to draw a closed shape with six sides this time. So pause the video, draw any shape you want with six sides, and then click play when you're ready for the next step. All right, friends, pause if you need more time. 
Okay, so here's the shape that I came up with. Can you name the shape that you made? Even if yours doesn't look like mine, it still has six sides and six angles, right? That's its attributes. But I don't know that name. I cannot think of the name of this shape. Oh, you know what? Hang on, hang on. I remember. It's a hexagon. Here's some shapes. Here's some examples of some hexagons because they all have six sides. And hexa means six. So a hexagon has six sides. Oh man, that's amazing. Okay, before we go to the next thing, I just wanna remind you guys, okay? A triangle has three sides. A quadrilateral has four sides. A pentagon has five sides. And a hexagon has six sides, okay? so. Let's play Complete That Shape. We're gonna play a game together. Are you ready? Okay, so here's the directions. So I'm going to draw part of a shape. So let's say I'm gonna draw this right here. Then I will say, complete that triangle. And then you will start with the part that I've drawn and add more sides, corners, and angles until you have built the entire shape that I named, okay? So if I say, name, or sorry, complete that, triangle. You would draw the shape that I have and then you would add in this line right here to make a triangle. Okay. So each time I'm going to give you part of the shape and then I'm going to say complete that and then I'll fill in the blank with a shape and you have to draw that shape. Okay. So again, remember triangle, three sides, quadrilateral, four sides, pentagon, five sides, and hexagon, six sides. Okay. You got to remember those. All right. Are you ready? Are you ready to cruise on through? Complete that shape. Yeah, okay, let's do it, friends. All right, so here's the first part of your shape. Okay, oh, you might be thinking, oh my gosh, what is she gonna ask me to draw with just this? Well, ready? Complete that quadrilateral. So pause the video, draw a quadrilateral, and then click play when you're ready to go over it together. All right, friends, here we go. All right, so complete that quadrilateral. Boom. There we go, because a quadrilateral has four sides. So as long as you drew two more sides onto here, you are golden and you have drawn a quadrilateral, even if yours looks different than mine. As long as you have four sides, you nailed this one. Okay, all right, let's do another one. All right, so here's the next part of our shape. Now, complete that Pentagon! All right, so pause the video, complete the Pentagon, and then click play when you're ready to go over it together. All right, friends, pause it for any more time. Okay, here we go. Complete that Pentagon! Boom! All right, so we started with two sides. We had to add three more sides to get to five sides because a Pentagon has five sides. Okay, so again, if yours looks different than mine, that's okay, as long as there's a total of five sides. Because remember, penta means five. Okay, let's go to another one. All right, here's the start of your shape. Ready? Complete that triangle. Okay, so pause the video, complete that triangle, and then click play when you're ready to go over it together. All right, friends, pause if you need more time. Otherwise, complete that triangle, boom. There is my other side of my triangle. Remember, tri means three, so we have a triangle with three sides. Okay, let's do another one, friends. This will be our last one. You ready? Okay, here's the start of your shape. Ooh, so we have one, two, three. Okay, we started with three sides. Ready? Complete that hexagon. All right, pause the video, complete the hexagon, and then click play when you're ready to go over it together. All right, friends, here we go. Complete that hexagon, boom. There are three more sides that we added to that. So because we had three, we needed to add three more because hexa means six. So a hexagon has six sides. Now again, remember, if your hexagon looks different than mine, that's okay. As long as it's got six sides, you are golden. 
Okay. All right. Awesome job with that one, friends. All right. That was such a fun game. I hope you guys had a good time playing that. Feel free. You can play that game anytime that you want to. You can challenge a friend to play it or your mom or your dad. It would be super fun to be able to play that game with somebody. Okay. All right. So you guys are on fire with this. You did an amazing job drawing, identifying, and analyzing two-dimensional shapes with specific attributes. Bravo. You guys did fantastic. I'm so proud of you. Keep rocking it. Okay, so please head back on over to the module to see what you need to complete for your independent practice. As always, if you have any questions, please let me know. I'd be more than happy to help. And I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Bye, friends.